at least go get a ghostwriter, bro. All right, so next we got Eminem nail in the coffin. Uh, we're gonna finish up this uh, with a nail in the coffin. All right, man, if you're new to the channel, forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings But I'm only being real when I say Nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap Nope And old men have heart attacks now It's crazy, man, how he's using these uh, old man bars And it's like, that's exactly what What's his name did against him You know what I'm saying? The old man bars And that's, I, it's crazy because I really wasn't feeling them old man bars But now that I see it, it's like, bro, that's what young kids do, I guess, when they're young Because, I mean Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, MGK was like around his age, a little younger, maybe. You know what I'm saying? When he did his shit. So, hey, I guess it's fair game, right? I don't want to be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. I would never claim to be no rape and Zeno. Ha. An 83-year-old fake Pacino. So Ooh. how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back? Oh my Jesus! Kill that! Yo, shattered his whole frame. Like real talk, man. That's crazy. I would never claim to be no rape and Zeno. And Zeno, an eighty-three-year-old fake Pacino. So how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Please don't. You'll probably Sound fall effect. with me and I'll ask the Pope be history. <laughs> He said, then you'll be all over, you'll get your wish, you'll be all over the street like 50 cent. Like, that's crazy. Be a one on one, see if I don't fuck you up. Try to jump the rough riders and they cut you up. And you put Jada on a track, that's how much you suck dick in the industry. Swear that you in the streets hustling. You sit behind a fucking desk at the source, butt kissing and begging motherfuckers for guest appearances. And you can't even get the clearances, cause real lyricists don't even respect you or take you serious. Wow. It's not that we don't like you, we hate you. Wow. Talk about a midlife crisis, damn. Last week he was shaking OB Trice's hand. Now he's facts. That's on that track that he was uh in Puerto Rico. He literally was shaking his hand, like you know what I'm saying, giving him props and everything. And then all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere, and now he's talking shit on 97.7. And it's like, what? You know what I'm saying? That's when Obi was like, Obi even did a track. I, you know what? We're gonna cover Obi track as well. That'll be dope because we'll cover it all. A buster, what the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing 50s ass, and asking me what I know about indictments. Fight me, bitch. I got two cases and probation. Fight me. <laughs> what do I know about standing in front of a judge like a man ready to take whatever sentence he has? What you know? Come on, M. You know, your shit was different. Come on, M. You know, your shit was different, but okay, you can get off because it, it, it is true, it is true, but it's different. It's different. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Oh, about your wife slicing the wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world, a little girl. And I put that on her when this is all over. I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a, it's crazy because that's exactly what he did to his daughter. Shit about no shopping rocks, but what you know about it? Pop shops, rocking spots. Well, you're the only white boy up in that bitch just stripping, pressing up your own flyers, and your stickers sticking them bitches up after spending six hours at Kinko's, making copies of your covers, the cassette singles, to sell them out of the trunk of your tracer, spending your whole paychecks at disc makers. What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right, you should know what that's like. You're half white. Vanilla ice, Philippines, and rice. I'm meeting you. Alive inside. Jesus Christ. Yo, vanilla ice, still beans and rice, cause uh Benzino's half Puerto Rican. <laughs> Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put the mic down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right now. Kill a 
him motherfucker dead Kill him dead, bitch Shoot him in the fucking head Go ahead, bitch Slap my mom Slap the fuck out of her She can't sue you She wouldn't get a buck out of you Cause you're broke as fuck You suck You're a fucking choke If you was really selling coke Well then what the fuck You stop for a dummy If you slew some crack You'd make a lot more money Than you do from rap You never have no security You'll never be famous You never know what it's like To be rich Like the bitch, ain't it, Raymond? Here, let me break this shit down in layman's terms for you Just to make sure that you can understand this And cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you Here, let me slow it down for you So that you can understand if I say it slower Let it go, dog, it's over I don't wanna be like this I don't really wanna hurt no feelings But I'm only being real when I say Nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap uh-uh. No men have heart attacks, and I don't wanna be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Talking about I have motherfuckers calling your crib. Bitch, you ain't even got a fucking crib. <laughs> you ain't even got a fucking phone. Fucking bump. Threatening it. Shut me down at your little fucking source magazine if I come back when you and attack you. Get you attack me first. Take it like a man. Shut the fuck up. Fuck your little magazine too. I don't need your little fucking magazine. I got double XL's number anyways. Y'all can't stand it because they get bigger than y'all. That's so crazy. That's so crazy because he, yo, he had beef with double XL as well. <laughs> But they made up, you know what I'm saying, after all of that. Because think about it, him catching beef with the source was a good look on Double XL because that would help Double XL take over the, you know what I'm saying? And by the way, how'd I look on the VMAs when you was watching me from whatever fucking TV you was watching me from in Boston? The mean streets of Boston. Fucking sissy. You got a skin up here, motherfucker. Suck up, motherfucking dicks. Oh, and for those that don't know, don't get it twisted, yo. The source has a white owner. <laughs> He's a fucking trip, bro. He is a fucking trip. But, uh, yeah, that whole. All right, so tell me what y'all think about that. But it, it's a trip because, like, People clown Boston, but Boston is, yo, man, Boston's crazy. Boston, does, yo, Boston's not like no, I, I, cause I'll notice, I'll hear people say that and it's like, bro, I don't think you guys really know what y'all is talking about. Cause Boston, yo, Boston does his thing, man. Like motherfuckers is like real in Boston. Don't get it twisted. Like they got Irish motherfuckers that's crazy as fuck out there. They got, yo, just everybody. But you know, real talk, like Boston got, is diversified. Kind of like it. It's kind of like New York in certain ways, but, you know, it did have a lot of racism for a while, but Boston is crazy. Anyways, that being said, what do you guys think? I think M killed it on this. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's obvious he... Benzino was dumb before he even opened up his mouth. I don't know why Ben... I know Benzino wanted to get his thing back, but it's like, bro, at least go get a ghostwriter, bro. Like, that's what I always said. Like, why don't this dude get a ghostwriter? Like, something. I don't know what his deal was with that. Anyways, put it in the comments what y'all think we are.